Welcome back fellow critters. In this video we're going to walk through the Critter Comics template so you can understand how to make panels and arrange your artwork. I have more Critter Short Videos tips queued up so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Okay, let's start with the basics. I'm using Krita 5.1 but this template has been around for a long time. So let's start by going to New File, uh, Comics Template, and US Style Comic Template. They're all pretty much the same so whichever one you pick they'll be arranged similarly and we can use them however you like. The template is set up like a sandwich so that you put your art in these three layers, ink, color, and sketch. And they're sandwiched between the mask and the mask clone. Set up like a sandwich. Now notice that the drawing doesn't show up between the gutters, these guys right here. And that's because we have this bottom layer here, the mask. The mask is just a vector layer. And you can tell what it is because it has that little tiny rectangle with vector handles on it. Let me do something to make it a little more obvious. So I'm going to add a new fill layer right there. I'm going to change the color so it's really obvious what it is. Okay. All right. Now you can see that the panels themselves are actually just rectangle shapes. And if I click on the arrow key and I tap on the, oops, make sure I have my mask layer selected and I tap on each one of these guys, you can see it's just a rectangle, it's just a shape. So I can take out one of the rectangles, for example, and remove it and then I can extend it, and so on. The confusing thing is that the mask layer is not actually a real transparency mask. For example, the kind you can get by doing this, add new transparency mask. It's actually just a vector layer. Now the way it actually works is because the layers you want to draw on, the sketch, color, and ink, have this inherit alpha property set to yes. So if I roll over it, I'm gonna roll over this one, where my sketch is, and you can see that the inherit alpha property is set to yes. On the interface here, it's represented by a little dash across the alpha letter. Now watch what happens when I turn that off. Now you can see the drawing in between the gutters. And if I turn it back on, that's what happens. So what does that mean? It means that when we enable inherit alpha, the transparent areas in this mask layer, in this regular rectangle layer, will also be transparent in the art layers, and then those that are opaque will also be opaque. And so then you'll be able to see the drawing in the, only in those rectangles. The final piece of the sandwich is this layer on the top, the mask clone. So the mask clone makes it so that the panel inclines, the outlines, are on top of all the drawn layers. So I'm going to actually pick a different color. I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to pick another color for my drawing here, and just using a basic brush, I will draw a, oops, I will pick my sketch layer and draw a big circle. Pick another color that's a little, there's a big circle right there. Now you can see that the panel layers are still, the panel outlines are still drawn on top of the artwork. I'm gonna turn that off. And though we can still see the panel outlines from the mask layer, we don't see them on top of the artwork layer. How do they do that? Well, it's a pretty neat little trick. If you roll over it, you can see that it's called a mask clone, and it has a property called copy from, and then the attribute set to it is a mask. So what this is is a layer that clones another layer. And the cool thing about it is that you can modify that source layer. So the copy from, I'm gonna call it the source layer. You can modify it, and it modifies the clone layer. And that's how we can maintain the outline without having to redraw them and stuff. But here's something that's kind of confusing. I'm gonna zoom in really close to this and I'm gonna turn this guy back on. Okay, what if we wanna set the outline to another color? So we can do that by going here to the tools options. I have my, I have my outline selected for this rectangle. And then I'm going to pick my stroke tab and I'm going to pick another color. Okay, that's not cool, right? We have the red color here and then this black color. So that doesn't work out. Let's try something else. I'm going to pick another color here and I'm going to draw in my sketch layer. Whoa, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, but why is that happening? Well, that's because of the trick that it's used to make the 
white parts of the clone mask not cover up all your artwork. Recall that the mask itself, the panel mask, is just a bunch of shapes, right? And they have white inside them. But somehow, that white part doesn't block out the artwork. And how do they do that? Well, in order to make that clone mask white rectangle not block out your art layers, they make the blending mode for that mask clone multiply. So for example, if I change this to normal, you can see it blocks out all the stuff. If I set it to multiply, then the, anything in white can come through across to the final image. I'm going to set this guy back to black, and then we're gonna try setting the color to something else. Now you can see how modifying the color affects the kind of opacity of the panel itself. So if I modify this guy, you can see how it changes. Here, let me move this a little bit so you can actually see in contrast with something else that doesn't have the same effect. As I modify it, the color of the outline, you can see that the outline color changes, unfortunately. Now I would like for it to stay all black, and I still haven't figured out a way to, to do that just by using the mask clone layer. If you know the answer, if you have a solution, hit me up in the comments below and I'll update this tutorial. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps you with your comic creation with Krita. And the next tutorial I'm working on is how to use Krita assistants or basically rulers to help you make more organic looking panel borders for your comics. Subscribe, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think. And we'll see you later. Happy drawing.